because I said I liked your dress. Stop saying that. It's true. It's boring. It's all I wanted to say. Well, I'm starting to think it's all you can say. What's your name? Leonard. Leonard. You better run along before my fiance gets here. He's far less tolerant of your existence than I am. There's no reason to be angry. I was simply paying you a compliment. Stop it. You're just acting like a big baby because you miss your mother's bosoms. My mother's what? Her bosoms, you goof. You're substituting my bosoms for your mother's. What? No, I'm not. Why not? What's wrong with my bosoms? Uh... Honestly, Miss Littleton, we're in public. The rules of etiquette apply. Oh, Leonard. It's 1925. There are no rules. Except that boys like you are tedious until they're 40. At which point they become unbearably tedious. I didn't come over here to be insulted. No? Where do you usually go? And don't think just because you haven't said anything that I don't know what you're up to. I'm talking to you, behind the magazine. Don't you know I could have you arrested for eavesdropping? Excuse me? Or are you really an avid reader of Ladies Home Journal? I never miss an issue. I see. Waiting for someone? I'm sorry, were you speaking to me? No, just practicing my American accent. Of course, As I was. As a matter of fact, I was you. waiting for someone. Who? A business associate. Oh, a business associate. So cryptic, so manly, clearly beyond the comprehension of a feeble female. If you say so. What I want to know is why you chose to come in here from the lobby, where you obviously had business, to sit next to me and listen to my conversation. Tell me, or are you afraid to say? I'm not afraid to say it. I'm in love with Leonard. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. Everyone does. We had something beautiful until you came along. You think you could just toss him away like a sack of flour? That's funny. Hey. Hey, haven't you done enough? No, really. Who are you? What's your name? I'm Dodge. Dodge Connolly of Duluth, Minnesota. Lexi Littleton, Champaign, Illinois. Hey, Lexi, what are you doing for dinner? You're a lot of fun, Mr. Connolly. And I'm sorry I'm not going to get to know you better, but you should leave before my fiance gets here. He's kind of big. Hmm. Oh, I can handle myself. No, really, Mr. Connolly. Mr. Connolly is buried next to my mother. I'm Dodge. Dodge, it'd be better if you go. Better for whom? Don't get familiar, Mr. Connolly. Just because we had a laugh doesn't mean you know me. My apologies. Apology accepted. But I do know you. You think so? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, you're the kind of cocktail that comes on like sugar if it gives you a kick in the head. The only thing you hate worse than a guy making a play is when a guy doesn't make a play. Oh, were you making a play? I hadn't realized. Might work on my Aunt Lurleen. She's a little nearsighted. There's an article on peach canning in here that I'm dying to get back to. Well, I know you too, Dodge Connolly. You think you're the slickest operator in Duluth. And maybe you are. But being the slickest operator in Duluth is kind of like being the world's tallest midget, if you ask me. It's too bad we know each other so well. We might have gotten along. Well, I'll live. Alone.